Right, this is the equipment uh, for RNA extraction. Uh, it's an automated system and it's uh, from Promega and it's called Maxwell RSC. So it's a completely automated system. You just uh, put the samples in the cartridges and uh, the rest is the system's job. Uh, it's connected to the uh, tablet, so you just start the uh, program. You can use it to extract RNA from cells or uh, from tissue. Today I'm going to extract this uh, RNA from uh, cells. For that you will need the kit for the cells and it's called Maxwell RIC Simply RNA Cells. If you're doing from tissue then you will need this kit. So let's see what's inside the kit. So inside the kit you have a uh, nucleus free water and you have the uh, lysis buffer and then you have here a small tube which is uh, one thioglycerol and then there's another tube which is blue dye which you add to the DNS and homogenization solution so we start by uh, making a working solution thioglycerol 20 microliter and homogenization solution to uh, 1 ml the other things in kit include uh, plungers this and then we have uh, cartridges and the aluminum tubes to collect the RNA. To make a working solution of thioglycerol, I'm taking 980 microliter of homogenization solution and 20 microliter of one thioglycerol. Briefly vortex. Uh, the DNA solution is already prepared and it was kept in the freezer. Uh, DNA solution was prepared by adding 275 microliter of water to the vial of the lyophilized DNAs that came with the kit and then adding 5 microliter of blue dye. Okay, so the next step is um, cartridge preparation. So let's see how to prepare the cartridge. Uh, this is the rack for the cartridge where the cartridges will go. Okay, so these are the cartridges. So I have three samples, so I'm going to use three cartridges. It's important to place the cartridge in the uh, right orientation so if you look at the cartridge so we have a big tube on this side that will go on the top so like that so we'll put this here and then push it down similarly we take the next one push it down and the next one So it's good to use the uh, middle of the cartridge instead of putting them on either side. Okay, so next we will peel off the seal. Okay, so here we have our cartridges in place. So the important thing is make sure they're in the right orientation. Yeah. Uh, next we need to place a plunger. So plunger will go in the first well from this side okay so now we have the plungers uh, in the well number eight so actually the well numbering starts from this side so one two three four five six seven eight next we have to place the 0.5 ml alien tubes so they will go next to each tube okay so now we have our uh, cartridges in place and also our uh, collection tubes in place so we can label the tubes and open this make sure these are open okay so uh, next we have to prepare our samples so this is uh, one of the samples so it's just the cells with the uh, supernatural removed Okay, so in each sample we'll add 200 microliter of uh, thioglycerol working solution and make, make sure you lyse the cells very well. Similarly, we'll proceed with the other samples, 200 microliter of thioglycerol working solution to the cell pellet and mix well. You can also vortex it to make it a nice homogeneous solution. Okay, so once our cells have been lysed, the next step is to add 200 microliter of lysis buffer. So we take 200 microliter and add to the lysate and mix well. And similarly, we proceed with the other samples. 
you should vortex vigorously to mix well and next we take all this uh, 400 microliter of the lysate and transfer it to, to the first well which is the bigger one similarly we take the other samples okay so we have added uh, the samples to the well number one so the next step is to add the dna's in well number four which is one two three four so it's this one so you can see it's with the yellow solution so you can't miss it so we add five microliter of dna solution in each well number four well okay so well number four one last thing we have to do is add 50 microliter of uh, water in each of these collection tube. And do not close these tubes. Okay, so the cartridges are completely ready now. Okay, so we go into the tablet, so make sure it's uh, connected to the equipment. And then click on start and then choose the right method which is the simply RNA cell in this case and click proceed okay so it's doing some self check okay so the self check is now complete so here it's asking it to, to choose the right number so we are using the quantity the position number seven eight and nine so we we'll use the uh, same here seven eight nine for each we can enter the sample ID this is sample number seven so enter sample number is eight and here I have sample number nine and then click proceed it says the door will open now, so click OK. Okay, and we put the tray inside. Okay, the tray is inside. Come back to the tablet and then click on Start. Okay, and the job done. So all you have to do is just wait and your army uh, will be ready when you come back. So it will take about 50 minutes. So at the end of the run, we uh, will collect the um, uh, collection tubes uh, and then uh, check the RNA with the bioanalyzer for its quality. Okay, the run is now complete. So we click on open door. So that will open the door and uh, we'll be able to get our samples. So here are our samples. So we have our RNA here. So we'll close it. I'll put the samples on ice. Okay, so this is the report. You can print or export. If you don't need to, then you can simply click here to exit. I will close the door as well. And that's it. So you can uh, click here to go back home. And that's all. And if you click here again, so it says, I'm sure you want to exit. So yes. You can then shut down the computer.